sound. Let's play this in full first. There is no sound. Cool weapon skills. She's got funny feet. And she's got no belt or waistline. <laughs> Ow. Cool. All right. Let me just minimize this or make this a tiny bit smaller so we can see the actual framing. Um, where I would technically zoom out a tiny bit so that we don't have a tangent with the tip of the ear right there. So it would be more something that's generally like this. Like you have that much negative space here and there. And I'm going to change my fancy colors given the background. Watch out. This is, I'm not even looking at body mechanics first. So it's silly what I'm doing here. But watch out her eye. One's going this way. One's looking out this way. So I would look at moving just that one eye a bit over for a nicer pose but let me just look at the overall body first the main thing there's some timing things where i think we can spruce up the timing a little bit more i got a question about that hole there and the main thing would be watch out there's a lot of moving in the legs where you got the overextension of IK legs pop up, pop, pops there, pops there, overextended. So, stuff like this here, be careful. I think this is interesting. I mean, there's something where this is fairly straight. You might want to push that moment a bit more, or just that overall pose, and maybe even give this a bit of a slight bend in that leg, but where you want to bring that chest. The lower body then that chest over this way where she then is in that look so you have an overall line of actual more like this there's a slight blocky feel of that so i feel like that is not quite helping and again um probably the surprise of the guy will be better without that hole uh i don't see anything in the in the email no i'm not sure no so this is just a question for you let me know also, pose-wise, does this rig have controls where you can take this ankle and move it back to get a bit of a, a nicer look into something like this where it doesn't feel bam, like that? Just be careful. So, yeah, I would push that a bit more. And then even that leg being so straight, you can even have a slight lean over with this and maybe even one foot up with a bit of a thing like that and then with maybe a bend here and she can have that arm here just pushing that pose a bit more so then you can get into this and i mean like you can have maybe a change from that what i just drew crappily <laughs> a horrible drawing into this to then get into that i don't mind going down as anticipation just watch out there seems to be a lot of I would do that through a bend over the squash. This seems like a massive scale change. Again, it's almost weird not having this. It's a bit um, distracting not having that and having that hole there. But it seems like a weird scale as opposed to a bend over going down. But since you are also moving this way, I will personally, instead of going straight down, I will bring that root over to a bit of an arc, hole out this way instead of doing that. But then when she brings out that weapon, a couple of things a you're getting very close forming tangents here overlapping forming tangents there and again being very close and having a tangent in that rest pose so for me it would just be going down out this way and then that's cool i mean i like this idea it's just a bit like the pivot is weird because it's pivoting off of here so question for you is this a magical thing that she's doing or are we just accepting that she threw it and then let's go it's just a pivot off of there where it could be around here-ish more. I don't, know if, I don't know if that's picky or... Because it's so fast, I guess it works. But maybe there is a trigger thing and she just has that finger in it. And that's where it twirls. So that you have something like that. Oh, lots of questions for you. But once you're done with this, to me then it would seem like... Why not push this whole thing further into something like that with my horrible drawing so it's not this seems fairly all very straight and then kind of parallel you know there's a lot of it could just be pushed in terms of a dynamic pose like something like that feels a lot better 
Now, what happens though is that even though, I mean, I would push those poses, but then you go from <clears throat> pose to pose to pose to another pose. And the timing is almost a bit even, <clears throat> where it's kind of like one and two and three and four. You know what I mean? So this is where the timing issue comes in, where you would do kind of a wait and then ha ha. It's kind of like da da, I have it. And then whoo, 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 and then you have three faster poses. So I would just generally watch out for your timing. Again, that ankle is so broken there. Um, if you can do something with that rig, I'm not sure. Otherwise, you're going to have to tilt that foot over and do some some posing two camera shenanigans. Um, getting back into this again, it feels like it's very much like this, where I would tweak that line of action just a bit more. Watch out. This seems a bit weird where that weight, I mean... If this goes off the ground and sliding back, <clears throat> she would start to fall back. Or I would really make sure this really pivots off this back section there and it doesn't translate over. It's a nice heavy pivot into that. This feels a bit better in terms of the posing. But to me, I would tweak the timing of all this, which potentially might tweak some, will change some poses as well. Then you can hold here. Again, this feels a bit too straight where you can push that line of action a bit more. And then it feels like she's just kind of done. It's also very pose to pose. You can work on offsetting some of the timing. But the arm just kind of goes down and then goes up and that's it. Where to me it feels like this is more like, ha, I am more relaxed. So to me it feels like even then, I would bring up that root over. Just kind of change the overall pose to be in the more, all right, I'm done with this, I'm more relaxed. Versus, I'm just moving my arm down. This, careful, you have this weird moving of um, both arms. So it almost gets into that flossing dance thing. Where again, I would potentially do... And then she would change a whole pose to lean over this leg where, you know, you might... You might have something like, ha ha, so a pose like that. And then and then this would make sense, more sense, because your arc is this. But you can see your gun doing this, so that is a funky arc. But by moving over this way, that arc will make more sense to fly this way. And when it lands, buh, 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 where is it? Here. So imagine she be here with my horrible drawing, ha ha. And then it would land here. I think that would make a bit more sense. Then you have that. And then she turns around. And actually like that. Because after all the, if you imagine, all the more dynamic poses, then she gets all stiff and shoulders up and ow. And not dynamic anymore. And I think that that's cool and works. But when you turn, I would turn that foot in Y a bit, pivoting off of here. So it doesn't feel like that IK leg that doesn't want to turn. Feels very forced there. But oh, watch out. This feels a bit too twins. It would be... Where is it hitting her? So I'm around the front. Ow. So it could be something where maybe that... And then she got some pain finger pose. And then this is up here on her head. Or maybe it's the hand is on her chest. And this is on her head. So I'll just watch out for that pose there as well. Timing on this is also a bit wonky, but this seems all early stages, so I'm going to just tell you, you might go, yeah, I know, I know, I'm not done yet. <laughs> so just watch out, proper timing and physics and mechanics for that. And I'm going to leave it at that. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.